time to time we like to bring back a familiar face and this is one of our favorites from the where are they now category we're catching up with our former news channel 5 anchor amy marsalis so great to see you. great to see you meryl so nice to be here and to walk in and know so many people yeah i know because we never leave do we well <laughs> we miss you well thank you i miss you guys too what have you been up to you know i'm doing all the things meryl that i was hoping i could do when i left you know spend a lot of time with family and friends go back to ohio see my mom a lot mm -hmm. and i've been involved with causes still on the board of Gilda's Club in the past, and now I'm on the board of Friends of Warner Parks. So, you know, involved in promoting good causes Isn't that in wonderful town. to have the time to be able to give back? It really is, it really is. But I miss you all and, and, and miss viewers, but I see those people when I'm out and about. Yeah, that's really but nice. But I miss everybody here, I do. Well, you're emceeing an event that's coming up that I know is gonna be a lot of fun as a girls' night out. It's called Chic Awareness. It so sure is. It. Okay, September 21st at this beautiful new restaurant, Downtown Prima. So lovely, lovely setting. Fashion from Levy's and all of the models, most of the models have had ovarian cancer or someone in their family has been touched by ovarian cancer. So they're gonna be modeling fall fashions, but then great food and drink and, um, and also getting updated about the latest in ovarian cancer research and so women know about symptoms because it's, it's, it's a very, very tough disease and with a lot of vague symptoms. But uh, this event was started by Marcy Huff, and I've gone to it several years in a row, and then they asked me to be involved in it this year. So it, it, I can tell you all, it is a great time. It sounds like a lot of fun. It really is. You know, more women than ever are surviving ovarian cancer. Let's take a look at more about that. You've been, so far, so good. You've been feeling well since I saw you last yes. time? Good. Mm -hmm. Lorna Kahn is an ovarian cancer survivor. She is among a growing number of women who are living longer with the disease. A recent study from Columbia University Medical Center shows women diagnosed with ovarian cancer are now 50% less likely to die from the disease than women diagnosed decades ago. I know what was done for me and how I, my case was handled, and I feel lucky. Dr. Jason Wright's research looked at nearly 50,000 women with ovarian cancer from 1975 to 2011. They're living with the disease for longer and longer periods of time as we have new chemotherapies, new drugs, new ways to deliver drugs for ovarian cancer. When doctors discovered Lorna's cancer, it had spread to other organs. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I wasn't going anywhere, you know, because you think you're going to die. But after months of targeted chemotherapy, she's recovered. There is life after cancer. And while Lorna is not cured, she's now been cancer free for two years. Marley Hall, CBS News, New York. And that's the good news. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but still more than 20,000 women are going to be diagnosed with ovarian cancer in the U.S. this year. So it's something we all need to know more about. And this, this kind of event, you know, kind of gives that dialogue, puts it out there for more women to be aware of it. And the event has raised $70,000 in two years. They thought it would only raise 5,000 the first year. I believe they raised 30 or 35, total of 70,000, which wow. goes towards um, the support services that Gilda's Club offers, which is emotional support for anyone touched by cancer. And I mean, I know that from being on their board and being involved, going to events, that they are an incredible organization. Mm -hmm. So. By going, you're going to support so many people touched by cancer. And what's wonderful is all those services are provided for free. For free, exa yeah. exactly. All right, so great to catch nice up to with you. Nice to see you too, Meryl. Yeah, and thanks for being involved so much in our community. Oh, it, it's, it's my honor and my pleasure, yeah, really. It's great is. to be able to Thank give that. You. All right, don't miss Chic Awareness. It's coming up September 21st at Prima. We're going to link you to gildasclubnashville.org for ticket information.